to me, Fiddler on the Roof um, can be encapsulated in one line in its most famous song. Its most famous song, of course, is Sunrise, Sunset. There has never been any type of birthday by misfa, what have you, since uh, 1965, when that song started reaching the public consciousness, that that song hasn't been heard at some ceremony like that, because it tells the truth, you know, um, time goes by so quickly. But the lyric I'm talking about specific is laden with happiness and tears. And that's what Fiddler does extraordinarily well. There has never been a show before or since where one scene, which will, is tear inducing, is followed by a scene of happiness, where you're indeed laughing, and the next scene is followed by tears, and the next scene by happiness. It is so wonderfully specific in doing that, that it really is a roller coaster. And of course, whenever it comes to any roller coaster ride, you're very glad when it's over that you took the ride. And we certainly are glad that we took the ride with Fiddler. But I do think that that is really the key to the show, that it really uh, replicates real life, that so many times we have good days and bad days and good times and bum times, as somebody else once wrote. And that's what's happened in Fiddler. You really get the highs and the lows of life. And of course, it does end on a low. And yet, this somehow a way of our feeling that it's all going to be all right for these people becoming because they're coming to America, which is a land of opportunity still at that time, which is still welcoming immigrants. Give me a tired, you're poor, as Irving Berlin would write in his show after Annie Get Your Gun, Miss Liberty. Uh, so it, it, it really gave us hope that even though they're discouraged and they don't know what's left for them, they really are coming to the land of opportunity and we really get the impression that they're going to work hard. As the musical rag says, the United States doesn't make it easy, but at least they let you do it. And indeed the opportunities are there. It's up to you to see them, it's up to you to grab them, it's up to you to take advantage of them without being taken advantage of. But nevertheless, it can happen. So even that's the miracle of Fiddler, that even at the end, which is bitter, it's, it's bittersweet. Uh, and notice that even the fiddler is asked to come along on the journey. That's the final image of the show that Tevya gestures to the fiddler, you come too. So everybody is getting a chance to uh, have a better life. If I were a rich man, yaddle diddle diddle diggle diddle 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 diddle. But what I will say about Tevya is that um, there has to be humor in the character, but there has to be gravitas too. And that brings us to Theodore Bacall, um, who. Uh, in the scene where he comes in and he sees that Kava is with the Gentile, that's a very important scene. And Theobokel played it for a laugh. He came in and it's almost like he was dropping his pants, that he, he gave a look of um, surprise that was funny. And I took him to task for that. And um, later he came up to me and said, you're the only person who has ever criticized me for that moment. And I thought, here's my next column. I am going to get all the reviews and see um, if indeed anybody um, ever had a problem with Theodore Bacall. Nobody did. Nobody. He was right. I was the only person who, who did that. But I think that's a scene that really demands gravitas. This is not a scene for any type of comedy. We're not supposed to laugh here. This is a father seeing his daughter doing something he doesn't remotely approve of, and he's going to banish her from his life, even though at the end he says, God bless you um, and wishes her well. That's the most he'll give, the most he'll give. And um, it, to many contemporary uh, eyes, that's certainly not remotely enough, um, but that's his worldview. So you really need a, a Tevya who can really be funny in things like if I were a rich man and funny when he gives all sorts of funny answers. Um, and there are certainly a lot of gag lines that um, Tevya has, but you really have to have that seriousness of purpose too, because he, is yeah you know, in the beginning of Fiddler when he talks about um, we wear um, we have our heads covered at all times the first time I ever heard that when the cast album came out in 1964 I really expected him to say and besides when it gets cold you're glad you have something on your head I anticipated that joke was coming it did not come and it was very smart of them not to do that it would have been easy to do that but here's where you see he's really sincere about his religion you need to see that early on and in fact that's one of the reasons why we have sabbath prayer when you think about it, the show doesn't need 
Sabbath prayer per se. It doesn't do anything for the action. doesn't take you anywhere that you needed to go at that moment in time. It's just a way of reiterating these people are very serious about their religion, and that's going to turn out to um, be a very big factor in Act Two. Peter Felicia's Broadway appears in every issue of the Broadway Maven's Weekly Blast.